Hey everybody, it's Walt from Driftwood Racing here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of go over the uh, over my uh, RV that I bought, Class B. I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about what I'm going to do to it, what we're planning to do to it, and um, you know, and, and show you what it looks like now. So, what we got here is a 2000. The truck itself, or the van itself. I'm sorry, it's a van. The van itself is a Freightliner. It's a 2004. Um, the two, these Freightliners were made by Mercedes-Benz and then private labels as Freightliner, Freightliners. It's got a five-cylinder Mercedes-Benz, um, five-cylinder turbo diesel. Um, the 2004 is up to, I think, 2006 or so is pre-def, that blue liquid stuff that they put in them now. Uh, a lot simpler engine than the current engines. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of talk about what I'm going to do to this van. One of the things I'm getting ready to do tonight, this afternoon here, is I'm gonna investigate taking off these flares. I'm not a big flare guy, and this, these sidestep things, which are janky, to say the least. I mean, they're not very supported. Um, as soon as they step on them, they flex. So I'm gonna take them off, go back to the original style body minus that. Um, I'm gonna look into that I'm inside here. It is a 2005 um, RV model. So, um, you know, it's kind of dated, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, we're gonna, for the most part, remove the interior it's, at some point. We're gonna probably use this thing for a little while as it is. Um, then we're gonna remove the interior and we're gonna bring it up to, uh, I guess we'll say current specs. Um, underneath this seat here is a single 12 volt battery with an inverter. Uh, nowadays, everything's a lot of people are running um, lithium type batteries. Um, this is a 120 volt air conditioner. A lot, right now, a lot of people use the 12 volt air conditioner so they can run off batteries. Um, a lot of the vehicles now have uh, solar cells on the roof. That's one of my plans is to put solar cells, lithium batteries, um, you know, so we're a little more independent of having to run a generator all the time. I am keeping the generator. It had this has an Onan 2500 watt um, generator, uh, propane powered. I'm keeping that as a backup, um, you know, because I just like that. Uh, TV is going away. These big janky uh, audio speakers are going away. There'll probably be all new cabinetry in here. I'm debating whether I'm going to keep the, the propane cooktop or go to a maybe a an electric one that can stow away when you're not being used. We'll, we'll figure that out here. Uh, microwave, probably gonna keep a microwave. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm, I gotta look at the size on that one. And, and the refrigerator, I'd like to go, I was thinking about going to a, uh, using more like a portable type refrigerator that you can just slide in and out versus the permanently fixed one. That refrigerator there is powered by both, by, you can use run to LP, you can run 12 volt, or you can run, um, uh, shore power 120 so um, that might come out in the end and to go to I'll go to something where I can just slide the like a ice chest type cooler refrigerator freezer in, into a spot and then when I want to use it I just pull it out they put it on some uh, on some uh, some rails so to speak the proper terminology um, so once it, if we went to a different style uh, cooktop then we could get rid of the uh, that overhead um, vent there um, so that's part of it. Um, this bed folds out and comes completely across the opening here in the dinette section sets down and that creates one big bed all the way across. Probably going to keep it in that configuration um, for now, even when we redo it. Um, it works pretty well. Um, into the, the back of the, of the RV is one big shower unit. As you can see from the shower, um, that hole in the back there is to access the rear tail light on that side in case you got to change a bulb. Kind of a janky setup if, if you ask me, but we're going to look at maybe changing that. And the shower sits really high up off the, off the, off the floor. And, um, if you crawl in the shower, man, I'm, I'm not super tall and I'm, I'm up into the top here, this skylight thing. So that's why they put that for taller folks. Need to replace all the fans, this back fan. And this front, that front fuzzy vent up there. Let's see this thing. This is just a, a plug over. It's not even a fan, it's just a vent. We're gonna, 
I'm gonna have a vent front and rear, uh, actual fan front and rear when I get done with this thing. The cab area up front's not bad. Um, it really doesn't need a whole lot. Um, I'm gonna probably put a swivel in the passenger seat so the passenger can swivel around backwards. Um, but aside from um, what you see up here, it's really in decent shape. It's not beat up or tore up or anything like that. This van only has just at just under 60,000 original miles so it is got a lot of life left in it so that's why I, one of the reasons i decided i wanted this thing because it was such low mileage in the back corner here you actually have another spot for a third rider uh, the, there's a proper framework underneath um so it's you know that's actually the seat belt is secure probably keep that i like that idea having enough room for a third person um but yeah, we we'll be redoing the bathroom back here. I've got some ideas for that, um, and just a general redoing of the whole interior. You know, the carpet back here will all go away. Some type of probably a laminate flooring or something. Something that's super easy to take care of and clean. Uh, rewiring the whole thing. The wiring system, like I said, is pretty basic. Like I said, the battery and the inverter is down underneath this seat. And in order to look at the fuses, and the circuit breakers, you got to get down on your knees like a rat eating cheese down there and I need something where it's up. I like to have something up at a height where you can see it standing without having to get on your knees to look at it. So that's um pretty much the interior and what we're gonna do. Uh, that's, like I said though, we're gonna clean it up, use it for a while until I gather all the, the, the materials that I want to use for the, uh, the interior redo. As you can see this back hub cap, uh, it's like a stainless steel hub cap. And then you have the original steel wheels, which are underneath there. Eh, probably, I don't really mind the steel wheels, but eventually I'll we'll probably get some, uh, a different type of a, a spoke type wheel or something. In the back here, this is a storage compartment because they took out the rear doors when they put the bathroom in the back. So they added the storage compartment in the back. The spare tire is on the uh, left-hand side. And on this side, there's hoses and, you know, things you need for hooking up, wires, cables, all that. Has a trailer hitch, came from the factory that way. Supposed to be able to tow 5,000 pounds. I don't know if I'd do that. That's probably a little excessive. On um, this passenger driver side over here, um, you've got the vents for the for that propane powered refrigerator, high and low there, which if I get rid of that, then I'm gonna have to plug these holes. So I've gotta contemplate that whole situation. The heater inside is also uh, propane powered. Um, so that's another thing I got to look at whether I want to keep that or go away from that or, you know, I don't know. We'll figure it out here coming up. Uh, that's a vent for one of the, I think the heater there, right there, an exhaust port. Um, I didn't show it when we walked around here. Back on the other side over here is where the, that Onan generator is. And, uh, this thing runs fine. 2,500 watt fired right up. So I'm gonna keep it. I, I kind of like to have the option of having a generator. That's just me. Got to call me old school, but I like it. Um, anyways, yeah, and also with, uh, with that trailer hitch, the former owner installed the proper uh, the brake adjusting part inside too. So I don't have to do that either, which because I do plan on pulling a trailer at times um, to do mini go to mini bike races and military vehicle stuff and things like that. So look at that. Look at that mileage, 5990. It's pretty incredible. I never had anything. Having a, a 2004 vehicle with that kind of mileage, that's like super low. So anyways, so yeah, no, uh, um, we, got our, we got our work cut out for us. Like I said, we're gonna put some solar cells up top, uh, possibly go to a different type of air conditioner. This one works fine at the moment. It cools and does its thing, but you know, the, if I went 12 volt, then I wouldn't be dependent on being hooked up to, or having the generator running all the time. So to, to do the air conditioner, we'll, we'll see. I haven't made my mind up yet. But um, so that's what we're doing right now. I'm getting ready to take off this rear flare and see what's underneath it, see how it looks. And um, I've got a new front bumper that I've, purchased that we're going to replace this the front one which has got all the flares on it too um, 
Uh, it's kind of it's cracked up in multiple places, and uh, somebody sprayed looks like bread liner type stuff on it. And so yeah, it's in need of a of, of a re replacement. So we're gonna do that, and probably at some point it'll get a complete um, refinishing on the outside too, either paint or a bed liner type arrangement or something. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not sure the color we're gonna pick. I might go plain old straight up white. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a it's a cool color for one thing, especially down here in Florida. Um, but anyways, that's what's going on with the Dirtfoot Racing uh, Mobile Command Center. It's uh, it's a work in progress, so to speak, and we're gonna keep uh, planning and investigating. And oh, look at that! Look what comes out, man! We got a troll in there. Well, <laughs> that's a big troll. So. Uh, Oh, I forgot it's got a canopy too. It came with a canopy up there. So when it works, it rolls out. Gotta let it, I gotta clean it off. It's a little musty, but yeah. So, hey, I'm a, it's way easier than starting with a with a Sprinter van that's never been a camper. I can, I can tell you that right now. You could hop in this thing and take off and go wherever you wanted just fine. And, and you know, after you make it not so musty smelling inside, but. Anyways, guys, we'll talk to you later. Like, if you like this kind of stuff, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you later. Walt here again. Just got done taking off those obnoxious, in my opinion, fender flare things. And boy, look at that. Look at that sexy baby. We cleaned it right up, man. It's like she lost 50 pounds. Lean, mean, RV and machine now. Just gotta fix it. We gotta, we gotta redo that front bumper too, but not tonight. Look at that, look how clean that is down the side. That thing looks good now. I'll, I'll replace the steps by the door there with, and by the, the sliding door with something substantial. Um, but yeah, no, look at that. It looks like I gained a lift kit too there. Didn't have to do anything. So yeah, I like it better, my opinion. Less things that get broken off. Less things to run into when you're hopping over a curb, which I did recently here. So, yeah, the clean look, I like it. So, oh, and I have a set of those flares for sale. If someone wants a set, they want to put them on their MB and they're restoring it old school, I got a set of them. Uh, they're all good condition, too. They're not cracked or anything, the side ones. So, you just got to gotta get with me because that's something you're going to have to pick up in person because those things can't be shipped, they're too big. So, anyways, uh, if you like this kind, of, if you got any more suggestions, maybe you don't like it, let me know. But I think it looks clean and it looks good. And I just, I just, it's like a facelift. You know how you get wrinkles on your face and you get it fixed? I just gave her a facelift, so. All right, guys, the RV adventure continues at Dirtfoot Racing. See you guys, like, share, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff.